Hey guys, welcome to day two of my video every day for a week. Um, in honor of my 1,000 subscriber that I like mark that I hit, um, I'll link day one's video in the down bar, which is my top ten favorite movies. And let's get on with this video, which is my top ten favorite book covers that I actually own. Because, um, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but I don't have editing because I use a webcam and a giant window for light. So, um, there's no way I can make books pop up over here, so I can't show you guys any book covers that I don't actually own. So here are all my favorite book covers uh, that I own. Okay, before I get started really fast, I just went to Barnes & Noble and I bought some movies and I want to show them to you really quick because I was really excited that I found them. The first one is The Princess and the Goblin. I don't know if you guys ever seen this, but it's really great. Um, Hairspray, which has actually a really freaking fabulous sparkly cover. Um, I really like this movie and the actual musical itself. I've seen that live. Great music, fabulous. And then the last is actually three movies in one, which I love these kind of things because it's really cheap. Um, but it is... I got Ferngully, The Last Rainforest, Troll in Central Park, and The Secret of Nim. And I've, I used to love these as a kid and so excited that I have them for my kids when I get older. And of course for me when I want to watch them because I love watching kids movies. Anyway, so on to the, my favorite covers. Um, in no particular order, uh, the first one that I really, really enjoy this cover um, is by Jennifer Bradbury and it is Wrapped. This cover is um, illustrated, which is definitely one of my favorite kinds of covers. Um, so that's what the front looks like, and that, there's a mummy right there. Um, this is the spine and back. You just ignore that, but they're like a camel. So once again, beautiful front cover. Love it. Okay, the next is Cinder. By Marissa Meyer. This cover is absolutely fantastic because it's about Cinderella and the cyborg. Cinderella cyborg. It's just fabulous, and I love the side and just the back and everything about it is absolutely wonderful. All right, next is Legacy by Kayla Culver, and this book is absolutely amazing because it looks so old timey, so old fashioned, and actually the pages are yellow, which I thought was really cool. Um, because this book looks like, like I said in a previous video, a book you could find in Camelot or something like that. But absolutely gorgeous, everything about it, just beautiful. All right, next is the replacements by Brenna Yovanoff, and speaking of Brenna, that's my twin sister's name, which. I'm going to try to do a video with her for my next um, video. But anyway, this is such a creepy cover and it's extremely shiny, so I'm sorry that I'm blinding you with my book. But yeah, um, there's the side which has a pair of scissors and then the back. Alright, next, I really enjoyed this cover which is Clockwork Prince. I have not read this book yet, but I enjoy it because I think the guy on the cover is really cute. So I have no problem staring at this book cover at all. So there's the side, and then the back has all the other covers on it. All right, next is Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. Um, again, another gorgeous animated cover, um, illustrated cover, I mean. Um, there's the side and the back. Also, the other books in this series have beautiful covers also. Alright, the next book that I really enjoy the cover is Purity by Jackson Pierce. Now, I like this shade of blue and I love the simplicity of the entire cover. It is actually really beautiful. I enjoy it. Alright, next is Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke, I believe. Um, I don't really have to explain why this cover is so beautiful. It, it just is. Alright, two more you guys, stick with me. Alright, the next one is uh, The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor. I just really, really like faces. I don't know. I like people on covers, but not just like a girl, you know, 
with her face. I just like it kind of, I like it to be more artistic than that, but I really, really enjoy this cover, and I think it is fabulous on the back, because all the stuff. Alright, and then the last book, you guys, that I've mentioned this book many times before. It's one of my favorite series, but this cover in particular is so epic. It doesn't even give the book justice, and it is the fourth Fable Haven book, which is called Secrets of the Dragon Sanctuary, um, by Brandon Mole. And I really wish you guys could see it in person because it is absolutely phenomenal. It has dragons, and then there's like little fairy people, and on the side it's just the dragon, and on the back more of the little fairy looking people. Um, this is one of the best book series I've ever read. Like I've probably mentioned a hundred times before. <laughs> so yeah, that was day two's video on some of my favorite book covers. There are multiple other book covers that I really do enjoy, but alas, I do not own them. So, could not show you them. Right. Bye.